Houston, you might be interested to doubt my left-hand window right now. I can observe the entire continent. Roger, we copy. When I was a kid, I was wondering kind of what's the meaning of life? Like, why are we here? What's it all about? And I came to the conclusion that what really matters is trying to understand the right questions to ask. If you consider two futures, one where uh, we are forever confined to Earth until eventually something terrible happens, or another future where we are out there on many planets, maybe even going beyond the solar system, um, I think that second version is incredibly exciting and inspiring and there need to be reasons to get up in the morning. You know, life can't just be about solving problems, otherwise what's the point? There's got to be things that people find inspiring uh, and make life worth living. For the eyes of the world, now look into space, to the moon and to the planets beyond. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships, as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer, to rest, to wait. Uh, we are hearing from the launch control center that there has been an anomaly on the vehicle. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. Neil I, Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it, and I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that. You know, th those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here, and, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. difficult. What I'm trying to do is, is to make a significant difference in spaceflight and help make spaceflight accessible to, to almost anyone. I mean, I'm really quite overcome with emotion uh, this day. It's, it's kind of hard to talk, frankly. It's been 18 years working towards this goal. This event is something that all of humanity can get excited about. It's just a fundamentally positive, good thing. You know, I think we need, we need more positive, good things in this world. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This is hopefully the first step on a journey towards life becoming multiplanetary for the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.